Hey everyone, this is Chris Arrington, and today we are going to learn how to create a Google Sheet and how to share that Google Sheet with people and also how to change permissions so people can or cannot edit different aspects of that Google Sheet. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into your drive, we're going to hit new, and that's going to give us the option to click on whatever we want to create. So we're going to click on Google Sheets. That's going to bring up a Google Sheet right here. We want to make sure that first we're going to name it. So I already have one called test, so I'm going to call it test one. And then what's going to happen from here is we've got all of our different information that we're going to put in here. You know, if it's something like you're tracking a bunch of different time or something like that or whatever facts or data you're going to have in here that you want to input and then share with someone we're just going to have a bunch of stuff so i'm just going to type in minutes right hours seconds and then we've got one two three and so the big thing here is if we want to share this with someone it's pretty simple we come up here we click share it's going to ask you who you want to share it with we can type in me all right, do that. And then it's going to ask you if you want them to be an editor, viewer, or commenter. So a viewer can't do anything. All they can do is view it. So when you send this to them, all they're going to be able to do is open it up, but they're not going to be able to do anything and allow you to know that they have seen it. Um, you're just going to know that they all they can do is look. Commenter can click and add little comments on different areas. And then an editor is going to be able to go in there and change things. Very important if you want someone to be able to see but not do anything. Or if you want them to be able to comment, say, hey, this is wrong, but you don't want them to change stuff. Um, if you trust that person, you want to have them adding to it, editor is the way to go. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add myself as an editor. And then you've got your message here. You can type like, hey, help me or whatever right you can also send them a link whatever you put here is going to turn that link into an editor link or it's going to be a viewer link or it's going to be a commenter link right so if you click on that that's going to be able for you to grab that link and send it to anyone that you want um, this right here is directing it specifically to that one person um, so that means that only they can open it from that email they only have access through the email that you give them so you're sending it to my email right there that's the only email i can use to get into that um, so very important for you to know that if you copy the link anyone can get into it and have the access based on whatever you selected and so that's something to be concerned about as well if you're just sending the link out there anyone can share that link um, and if you're if it's sensitive information you might not want to do that all right so you hit send that's going to send me an email and say hey this person added you on this uh, document and they want you to contribute and they'll tell them what they are, whether it's an editor, viewer, commenter. Now, one thing that we get a lot <clears throat> is that people want to allow people to edit stuff, but they don't want them to be able to edit everything. So what you can do is you can actually make it so that they can't change things. So if you select whatever you don't want them to be able to change and you go into data so up here click on data you can actually scroll down and you will be able to find where it says protect sheets and ranges so this little lock bu button here if you click on that it's gonna ask you what you want to name it if you wanted to say um, protection but if you wanted to say you know Joe or um, you know Chris or whatever whoever you want to have is you're preventing them from touching those ranges uh, you can get really specific um, if you highlight it it will tell you what your range is that it's going to protect against like it's gonna stop anyone from editing those specific cell blocks um, you can change these you can add them so if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger I could go to C3 and that means that we've got C and it would go down to the third one here and it's A1 right all the way to C3 
So that's telling you the expansion of it. Um, if you want to make it so that someone can't edit it, you hit set permissions and it's actually going to ask you. So it brings up everyone who's involved and it's going to ask you what you want to do with this. So if you want it to be only you that can edit it, you can do that. Restrict who can edit this range to only you. That means that no one else can touch it except for you. If you want to do custom, if you have multiple people here, you can select who is going to have the opportunity to change this information. Some people might not have access, other people will. And you can also add other people um, so that they can still be able to edit it if you want that are not on this list. Um, but the easiest way is to share it and then to come in here and change the permissions um, and once you hit done, what it's going to do is it's going to be right here. Now, it tells you these are the cells that are being protected. You see a little green, right? As I did it, you saw the little green outline. It shows you which ones are protected. And it says can edit, right? So it, it's locked and it only has a specific amount of people that are going to be able to edit this. Now, if I click on this, I can change it, right? I can go to C4, all right? If I hit done, now look at it, right? That's, that green is one more down. So it's showing you and predicting what's going to be protected. Now, the other thing is um, if we want to delete it, we just click delete right there. That's how you remove it. Super easy. And if you come in here and you've got protected ranges already, um, you can just click on that add button and you can actually type in the different ones, right? Since it's already highlighted, it's going to have those again. Um, but you can change it, right? And um, you can have it be a different one. You just hit cancel, add again, and now look, you've got your different ones. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy for you to be able to do that. Um, but a very powerful thing because when you set it up like this, you can make it so that people can't change data that you don't want to be changed but they can still alter the things that are around it. They can leave notes, uh, they can add their own data, but if it's you don't want them to be able to you know, do anything, then that's how you're gonna be able to protect those, uh, those cells. So that's the way that you can do it. Um, it's really a very powerful thing. And if you are working with a lot of people on a lot of different spreadsheets and stuff, this makes it really easy to know and you'll also have little symbols up here that show you who's working on the same stuff and it'll give them colors and you'll be able to see what blocks they're on um, it's really really helpful if you're working on putting together an excel sheet basically that everyone can access whenever they want and you can actually see in active time what people are changing um, and then like i said you can protect against it if you need to so i hope this was helpful um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I, I always answer everyone's questions, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, bye.